Hello, this is the Albatross here. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this little item, the Lepi 2024A, LP 2024A. Just got it off Amazon. Basically, what I'm wanting to do is hook up some bookshelf speakers to the computer, not as monitors. I know monitors play differently than regular shelf speakers. I want something a little bit better than the computer speakers I have. So this is going to be a powered amplifier to run these speakers off the computer. So let me show you what it looks like or what they show on Amazon right now. Okay, so that's what it looks like on Amazon. So here's the box. Here's all these little letters. It's a Class T amplifier. Has speaker protection. Uh, it is a let's see, yeah, twenty watts times two, so two channels, continuous RMS. Uh, the impedance that it comes out is four to eight ohms, so anything with four, six, or eight ohms, uh, it can run it. Frequency response twenty hertz to twenty thousand or twenty kilohertz. And harmonic distortion, whatever. Here's the sizes. We'll get to that because I'll probably, I might measure it just to make sure. It's supposed to be a black one. Apparently it comes in black and silver. It's a Chinese trademark, so it's made in China. I got this for just under $24. And there's going to be a link down below to Amazon to this specific one. If it seems like it would work for you. Let's see if it works for me first. I'll take that chance. So yeah, it's just taped up. Got the little Amazon sticker there. So let's get to opening it up and let's see what comes with it. Take my little multi-tool. Your styrofoam, hard stuff. All right, styrofoam tray. Here's the operating manual, nothing else. Sorry. So, operating manual. The amplifier itself. And the power supply. Now on Amazon, they do say this could be for car audio. Um, and for motorcycles. And, you know, you got to have this. So use it at your own will. I'm using it at home. Okay. So here's the front. Treble, bass. I don't know what this tone and direct is. I've got to get into that manual, figure it out. Treble bass, power, and your volume. Knob feels pretty good. On top, it looks like you can mount it. So maybe you can use it on a car or something. Not really sure. Two channel power out power amplifier, 20 watts continuous. Solid to the bottom. Yeah, feels thin, but it's only like total 40 watts. No big deal. So your inputs it looks like you have the RCA jacks and maybe the regular three was it 3.5, the headphone inputs then your outputs you got these regular clips then your power input from that so let's look at the manual real quick i want to find out what that little button's for features well show the front features class t power ic amplifier chip provides efficient powerful sound multiple audio inputs you mean two 
Uh, anyways, bypass tone controls. So I guess you could bypass the treble and bass. Uh, overview, I'm not worried about. Same specs as on the outside. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So apparently, in, you could bypass, or in, you use these. Out is just straight to the volume, straight signal. Okay, so let's get this undone. What I have here are two Zenith bookshelf speakers. Bought them at the thrift store. This one's still got a tag. Bought them eight bucks for the pair. Kind of tested them out there at the store as best as you could with <laughs> what you had there. They didn't rattle or anything from what I heard. So what we're going to do is hook it up. To this mp3 player. If it works with the mp3 player, it should definitely work with the computer. I had to go out today because I didn't know about this headphone jack. Well, we can try that. I didn't know about the headphone jack, so I went out and got this Y connector or Y adapter headphone jack to RCAs. But apparently, I could use just a straight line input. We'll try them both and see. Let's hook this up. Eey. Definitely need to clean my my speaker cables here. And we will see how this shall run. Here's another one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn this around. Okay, well, we'll just go first straight from MP3 player into this input. So let's get this in here, and we shall see what happens. Yeah, no cable management right at this point. Let's see if it powers up without electrocuting me or anything else. Yes. Maybe I should hook this up. And just in case, turn that volume down. We've got it direct. Turn my little MP3 player on. I'm going to find a song that is mine so YouTube doesn't slap me down. Yeah, this one will work. And let's start bringing it up. Uh, from this point, turn it up to here, maybe a quarter. We'll take it about halfway. Already sounds better than my computer speakers. Trying to let it play for some bass to kick in. These are not ports. The ports are actually in the back. About oh, halfway. Plus, I got volume control here on this. That might affect it. And the EQ. Take it to normal, maybe. Yeah, just on normal. I guess that's no EQ. And while it's here, let's try this. Just turning the bass. That sounds decent. We're at the halfway point. Let's try to get louder. That 
that's not all the way up. That one's getting distorted. Anyways, it's going to work for my purposes. I can always search for new speakers later. That's definitely working. So now let's turn it off, put on the Y adapter, and see if that works. Let's stop this right now. Pause. Let's tear into the Y adapter. No, I didn't notice that. It's already been opened before. Thank you, Target. Okay, so now we go for that off. Let's turn this off. It wasn't really a pop. There was a little tiny click. And this one wasn't a big pop. So now... Just like regular regular um, audio controls, you got your white labeled and the red one. Here we go again. That's already ready to roll. Turn this up about halfway. Take it up all the way. It's working fine for me. So these are not supposed to be subwoofers. They're like mid bass in here. It's like a four inch driver, tweeter. Not the best things, but hey, they work. Um, yeah, I would say this definitely fit the bill. If you're looking at maybe doing the same thing or maybe add speakers to a television, if you got some type of headphone out, that would work fine. Again, just under $24, that works great. It works for my needs. So look down below for a link to this exact unit from Amazon. If you got Prime, it's free shipping, two-day free shipping. Uh, you do not need a Y adapter if you have a straight through 3.2, 3.2. You either have that or you have that. And that'll connect you well with this. this is, okay. So there you go. It fired up. There was an unboxing. Saw everything that came with it. Works good. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe because I'll be doing more reviews on different things. So for now, take care everybody. Bye.